Thailand in 10 days. Temples, street food, beaches, and unforgettable adventures. Ready to explore? Day 1, Bangkok. We are starting off with a visit of the incredible Wat Pho to check out the famous recycling Buddha. Such a beautiful temple with so much history. Then we dive into Bangkok street food. Excellent. Then we head over the Icon Siam, which is one of the most Bangkok must visit mall, with a mix of high-end shops, delicious street food stalls, and even a floating market inside. Then we spent two days in Chiang Mai. We had so much fun. We saw beautiful temples and found a cool cafe called Shom Cafe, which is, was like a fairy tale with a lot of plants. We also went to a night market where we looked at interesting things and ate yummy food. We watched the Mai Tai fight, which was really excited. But the best part of all was visiting an elephant sanctuary. This was our best experience of the trip we book a tour oh and talking about tour don't forget to watch the other video exclusively about our tours in thailand so going back to our tour about the elephant we had the pleasure to feed them prepare food for them give them a bath and also play with them we definitely recommend this activity during your trip you won't regret it Then we spent one day in Shanghai, another day rich with beauty and things to discover. Known that Shanghai is really known for his beautiful temple. We first start with the white temple, which is super shiny and all It white. It was made by a famous artist to show how we can be better people. Then we visited the blue temple, which is blue and has cool picture inside. It tells story about Buddha and teach us good thing. Remember that to go in the temple, you have to wear something to cover your shoulder and your knees. And finally, we check out the red temple known as Wat I Look. This temple is bright red and filled with amazing arts. It's different from the others and we love seeing all the details. While we were at the Red Temple, we also saw the Big Buddha nearby and it was really impressive. The Big Buddha is a symbol of peace and happiness and it makes everyone feel calm just by looking at it. We learned that the Big Buddha reminds us to be kind and help each other. If you love Discover Temples with us, don't forget to subscribe. We will have another video exclusively about temples in Thailand. Following our itinerary, we spent three days in Phuket. Our adventure began when we checked into a beautiful resort right by the beach. Follow us for a full video of our stay in Thailand. We spent our day exploring the island, soaking up the sun and playing in a warm ocean water. One of the best part was going scuba diving. We dove into the crystal clear water and swam with colorful fish, feeling like we were in a magical underwater world. We even got to feed some friendly fish. After all, we relaxed on the beach, enjoying the stunning view and delicious food. Next, we spent two days in Krabi. We took another tour to explore new beaches, scuba diving again, and enjoying this beautiful landscape. Each dive was a new adventure and we couldn't get enough of the beauty. We visited in total six islands, Koya Vasam, Poda Island, my favorite. Koma Teng Ming. We explore also Chicken Island. It got this name because the rock looks like a chicken head. We also visited Thales Week. It was a lot of fun. We stopped to have local snacks. And we also explore Ko Daeng. This island had amazing beaches and lovely spots to relax. We really enjoyed walking all along the beach and swimming. Felt so good. In Krabi, we could enjoy for the first time the floating breakfast. It was an amazing experience for us. We had yummy fruits and the breakfast was really nice for both of us. Stay tuned for another video of price and hotel's name 
during our stay in Thailand. And at night, we always enjoy going to a night market where there's a lot of delicious food to try, live music, and we enjoy every moment. And we spent our last day in Bangkok where we went to Chinatown and it was amazing. The streets were busy and full of life. There were many colorful shops, bright lights and the smell of delicious food everywhere. We tried the famous tiki rice with mango, but to be honest, that was not our favorite. We also explored many other food. We saw people cooking all kinds of dishes. There were noodles, dumplings, and even crispy spring rolls. We love tasting the different flavor and trying new things. Each bite was an adventure. Walking around Chinatown felt like being in a different world. The buildings were beautiful and we loved looking at all the decorations. There were many shops where you could buy special souvenirs to remember your trip. Chinatown is a great place to experience Thai culture and taste amazing food. It was the perfect way to end our time in Bangkok. If you love this video, don't forget to subscribe for more.